Hi! In today's tutorial, we're going to emulate a nostalgic film color grade in DaVinci Resolve. The grade has a lot of fidelity and is something you can apply to an entire scene as a starting point. Personally, I also think it just looks really good. So to get started, open up your clips in a new timeline. These are V-Log clips shot on a Panasonic S1H. For color management, we're going to be using ASUS CCT version 1.3. No input transform, and output is set to sRGB. Make sure the Use Color Space Aware Grading Tools checkbox is selected. Quick note, these techniques in this tutorial will still apply if you use another method of color management. Now, our footage looks strange because we haven't told Resolve how it should interpret the color management for these clips. We could have done this in the Timeline Color Management section earlier, but there are many ways to do this. Instead, We'll highlight the clips in the media pool, right-click, go to ACES Input Transform and select our camera. For me, that's Panasonic V-Log, which in ACES is the V35 option. Now we're ready to grade. Switch to the Color tab. We're going to do this grade starting at the end, in the Timeline Notes. Click here to switch to Timeline. Anything we do in here affects the entire timeline, instead of the individual clip. We're going to add three serial nodes with option S, or you can click on the node icon just to the right of the hand icon. We're going to label these nodes as the following by right-clicking on them, Blur Grain, Grain, and Halation. In Blur Grain, go to the Blur tab and gently increase the blur, to something around 53. You don't want to go overboard. In Grain, add Film Grain from the Effects panel. Change the following settings, Texture to 0.726, size to 0.136, strength to 0.057, and offset to 0.502. In Halation, add Halation from the Effects panel. Change the following settings. Threshold to 0.555, Normalization to 0.926, Saturation to 1.74. Scroll to the Secondary Glow section and make these adjustments. Strength to 0.186 and spread to 0.444. Finally scroll toward the bottom and in Global Adjustments, change Reduce Highlights to 0.798. We're done with the Timeline Nodes, so we can switch back to the Clip Nodes. In the Clip Nodes, we're going to make three Serial Nodes. You can ignore these first two at the top, I had to blur out this car's license plate and the home address. We're going to label the nodes Light, Color, and Center Blue. Center Blue will make sense later. In light, go to the HDR wheels and make the following adjustments. Global exposure to minus 0.01, light to minus 0.49, shadow to plus 0.30, and dark to plus 0.18. Switch to the primary wheels and lower the highlights all the way down to minus 100. You can lower this less if you want, depending on the fidelity of your clip. In the color node, we want a warm, soft film look. So we're going to make these adjustments. Temperature to minus 50, tint to 14.50, and saturation down to 37.80. In the lift wheel, gently drag from center down to the bottom left toward green until you see similar numbers like minus 0 and minus 0.01. In game, drag to the top left. You want the blue channel to be around 0.95 and the red channel close to 1.02. In gamma, drag slightly up until you get similar numbers like minus 0.00. In center blue, go to the power windows and make a circle power window. Change the aspect to 71.98 and scale up the mask size to something like 55.5. Increase the softness to 10. Now go to the primary wheels and change the temperature to minus 670. In the offset wheel, change the red channel to 27.24, green to 26.14, and blue to 25.60. Finally go to the key tab and change the output gain to 0.300. This just brings back some color contrast from the warm tones we brought into the image, and I think it looks pretty nice. And there you go. Now we can apply this grade to the rest of our clips by appending or applying the grade. We've now got a nice, subtle nostalgic film grade with grain and halation added to our clips in only a few short steps. And what's nice is because the adjustments we made are pretty macro. This color grade can be applied to a wide variety of cameras and log profiles and should translate pretty well. Personally, this has been a great jumping-off point for me when grading a project that is going for more of a traditional film look. 
I hope you found this helpful, and thanks for watching.